I'm Justin Frickty. And I'm Alex Gatormson. And we're both forage and cover crop specialists for Millbourne Seeds. So we wanted to come out here in the spring of the year and get out to an alfalfa field and walk through doing an assessment as far as stand density and what's going to be uh, acceptable to leave the stand. So we're going to go through those factors and, and what you should be looking at to assess your alfalfa field. So uh, we've got a spade and we've got a, a square out here. So uh, Alex, do you want to walk through as far as numbers, details of what we need to to, to, to go through as far as what you would require a good stand to be? Yeah, absolutely. So like this year here in 2022, we're in Southwest Minnesota right now, and we had an extremely cold winter. Um, very open, very cold, so our plants didn't have much protection over the course of winter here. So we're actually seeing a fair bit of thinning in some established stands of alfalfa. And uh, usually we want to take into consideration a couple things, probably the most important being uh, the age of the stand actually. Yeah, Any, anytime we're getting up there, you know, five years or later, um, it's probably time to rotate it. And, and if you're up there and you think that you're getting, you know, thin just by looks, um, this is, uh, what are the dimensions of this? They're a foot and a half by yeah, foot and a half? 17 by 17. 17 by 17. And if you go out there and you lay that uh, in multiple areas of your field and you're counting plants and you have less than five, plants it's too thin and you should rotate out yep. unless you're like you know what I just I the, the 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 scenario is such that I need to leave it because I am really 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 short on feed well maybe you should come in here and intercede into it okay Ab absolutely and one thing to keep in mind too is like if it's a younger stand and you're seeing less than 15 like let's say it's a one-year-old stand and you're seeing less than 15 plants in one of these squares here, uh, I personally would intercede. Yep. I mean, that's a young stand of alfalfa. It's still got some life to it, hopefully. Let's throw some grass out there, in my opinion. And uh, high quality grass, we can still make very good tonnage off of this. Yep. Perennial grass. Perennial grass, yes. Orchard yes. grass. Fescues. Timothy. Root. Yep. 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 Your yep. common perennial grasses that you would start with alfalfa is what you would intercede in Absolutely. to a young stand of alfalfa. Yep. And if it's an old stand that you just, you have to keep because you're short on feed, then what would you put in there? Uh, depending on the time of the year that the fields fit, personally I'd try to run with like a triticale or an oat if, yeah. if you can get out there early. If it's getting late and your field's still kind of sloppy, I'd probably just hold off till like the end of part of May, early June. And then I'd spike in some Japanese millet or pearl millet. Teff uh, grass. Teff grass. Can any work. warm season annual that yep. regrows well. Yep. So the other thing to look at, like if it was really early and we were in one of these fields early on this, this morning, is the roots. And so we had dug up a plant and, and if your roots are white and vibrant and it's hard to get out of the ground, it's alive. Okay, That's like if you're not seeing up any top growth and you're wondering if it's alive or dead. If it's brown and mushy and it just pops right out of the ground, well it's dead. You have root rot and it's done. It's toast. Stick a fork in it. Move on. But vibrant white hard to pull out of the ground that's alive and it will come it will break dormancy as the ground temperatures warm up absolutely and we were in a field this morning this is kind of i don't see much for examples of this right here but uh where they looked dead yep. i mean and they weren't doing much but there was still some shoots some little shoots just poking out of the crown yeah and uh we dug them up and the crown was healthy so they're just a little slower maybe part of the plant got injured through winter mm -hmm. and they just needed to to get some energy, get some moisture finally that we got out here and uh, hopefully they'll push through. So. so bottom line is do some stand counts, dig up some plants, that's going to give you the factors that you need to determine whether or not to keep or interseed, overseed into your stand or move on from it. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Exactly. Well, I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, uh, certainly feel free to call or email us um, and take it from there. Absolutely. We'll see you next time.